Welcome to Vlogmas Day 18. Gosselin today? A little bit. I'm telling ya, I'm getting that like Kate Gosselin. Just need to like spike it all right here. Put that down. And look, I could be Kate Gosselin. <laughs> um, good morning everyone. So many of you were like, you forgot to open the advent calendars. So I'm going to open them right now. All right, here is day 17 of rituals. And it is the candle that I was supposed to burn yesterday. Light the third Advent candle on the third Sunday to celebrate love. Well, I forgot, so we will burn it today. We have a balancing shower gel. It's right here. A caramel shortbread. That sounds amazing. Day 18 is organic cream of Earl Grey. Those both sound like super exciting. I love Earl Grey tea. It is one of my faves. <coughs> oh. <sighs> Just another reason to dislike this one. Oh, we got an ode. This is Ode Saphir. That is my favorite one, but I love an ode. And this one is Emerald Agar. I like that one too. Oh, that's a good day. I'm actually gonna wear one of those today. Day 17 of Diptyque. Centel up here. Like this. We got Le Ombre Dans Lou. I look up the, the notes of this one because I'm not super familiar. All right, Lush 12 Days of Christmas. Let's go ahead and pull out this. Because I actually want to use this tonight. So that is why I'm pulling this out. Mine got destroyed in the mail and it's the Snowman Bubble Bar. Do you want to build a snowman with no eyes and with no nose? His head fell off his body. It is so sad. Bubba doesn't like my singing, so I'll stop. But this is just a bubble bar. Um, and mine has fallen apart. Very disappointing. So Stephen and I have really been working on it. And look at this. We got this whole bit done. I'm gonna attack this bit today. The whole house is coming along, that section. Yeah, it's really, if you wanna know what we do on a wild and crazy weekend, it's a puzzle. Steven was unable to get the tree lights to come on, so I'm going out today, and I'm just gonna buy another section of lights, although I t almost bought a tree last night, but it won't come in time, so. I'm just gonna get new lights for that section and then I think we're just gonna replace this tree. We've had it for six years, maybe. I'm going to make some breakfast and then catch up with you in a little bit. So many of you have been asking about the paint colors in the house. So I went down the basement and went through the paint bins because we have everything labeled. And I'm going to leave in the description box the paint colors for the kitchen and living room the office, which everyone asks about, the dining room, which everyone asks about, and then the foyer and up the stairs. All right. All right, so we are about to head out and I'm wearing my North Face coat, just a long scarf, a camo button down, and once again, skinny jeans and the John Varvados boots that I am completely obsessed with. I don't know why I never wore them after I bought them at Nordstrom's last year. I bought them, they went in my closet, and then I never touched them. It feels crazy to be vlogging on a Monday morning. I should probably listen to my Spotify Christmas playlist, which is linked in the description box below. That's a little plug. It is a really good playlist though, I promise you. 
Just a large black coffee, please. Anything else? That's it. Hello. Uh, no, just a large coffee. Large coffee black. Yes, and can I pay for the order behind me as well? You're welcome. That's absolutely fine. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have one too. And can you tell them to have a wonderful day as well? I absolutely will. All right, have Thanks, a good honey. one. You You're welcome. Hi, coffee? Yep, that's it. Thank you. Have a good day. It is so easy to be kind and nice and generous with people. Um, and it's so worth it. It's so worth it. All right, so I just left that little farm and it was precious. And oddly enough, they had wreaths made with the same exact birch wood bow that I put on my staircase banister. So I went ahead and bought it. I also bought a local cinnamon honey, which sounds incredible. Um, and also picked up a homemade strawberry jam. Marnie Goldberg, Miss Gold Girl on YouTube, and several others have asked about me always being this happy, like always exuding positivity, and you know what? It really is how I am. Now, do I get grouchy? Do I get moody? Steven will tell you 100%. My moodiness is I get really quiet. Like if there's something bothering me or causing me anxiety, I get really quiet and I just don't talk a lot. Um, and that's just a survival mechanism I used throughout my years of being bullied. And I found that like the quieter I got, the quicker it ended. Probably the last two, three years, I have come to realize that whatever I'm upset about, whatever I'm stressed out about, whatever is causing me tremendous anxiousness and moodiness, I've actually already experienced the worst of it. I've actually already gone through the initial feelings of dread. So I come to realize that it's only going to improve from that point on. And then I will go back to this and always this. How dare I be grouchy and moody and stressed out when my stresses or trials that I have faced in my life are so minuscule compared to others. How incredibly blessed we are to be given the life that we have and the relationship that we have and the friends that we have and the circumstances and gifts that we have been given for no apparent reason. Uh, that is one thing I still can't wrap my brain around is how do I get all these blessings and catch all these breaks and get so much given to me that are truly just gifts and like cherries on top of Sundays when others like struggle with such trials and circumstances and can't catch a break even though they're really good people. How dare I blow something that's happened in my life out of proportion? It is so, so unfair and so greatly unjust. It is one of these things in this world I will never be able to figure out. My family and I talk about it all the time. Is how do we get so lucky and so blessed when others seem to have so much misfortune? We're so lucky. The Times Fraser Fur 
sachet for the car is amazing. My battery is dying, so I have it plugged in over there, but I just suffered the most hysterical fall um, because the garage floor is like really slick concrete and it's a little wet from all the snow. And I totally <laughs> just bit it. And all I thought was, thank God I'm not vlogging this. But I totally, like, it was like a slow motion fall. It was quite comical. I'm laughing, but you're not laughing because you weren't there. But if all of you had just seen what occurred, it was quite funny. This is the wreath I found that actually had the same ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and hang this. I'm going to get Bubba's a cookie. Yes, I said a cookie. I said a cookie. I said a cookie. <laughs> A lot has happened since I've been charging my battery for my camera. One, Marnie and I have been texting back and forth and just chit-chatting and getting to know each other even more, but I want to prove to you that my house is not always neat. So just take a gander. My garbage can is out, there's wrapping paper, there's Diet Coke out, all kinds of mess. But with all the mess, there's also evidence of cleaning. I finished wrapping all my gifts for my best friend and I's day tomorrow, so those are all her gifts there. Bubby, none of those are for you. None of those gifts are for you. None of those gifts are for you. And it's okay, because you're a very good boy. A very seepy boy. I've replaced the lights on the tree, so now the tree is fully lit again looking beautiful. And then that wreath I picked up at that farm, it's right there. Look how beautiful it looks. It looks so good against the gray wall. But I just added some fairy lights to it. And it looks really cute. We are going to make some cracker candy, which is one of Steven's favorite, favorite things. All you need is the following. Salting crackers, chopped pecans, two cups of chocolate chips, and butter. Now I have a baking sheet lined with foil. This is the most important part because let me tell you my friend, you be throwing your baking sheet away if you don't do this. You still want to treat it with a little cooking spray to make sure that everything doesn't stick. Because we're essentially making a homemade caramel to go on top of this. Next you want to take your salting crackers and you want to line one layer of them across your entire baking sheet. So you want to get a cup of butter going. I don't know if I've said this, so I will say it again. I have my oven preheating to 350. I have the cup of butter melting, and I'm going to measure out a cup of brown sugar. Now I'm just going to add the sugar in. I mean, and then you just get a spoon and you eat this because I feel like this is more than enough. Once it comes to a boil, we're still gonna let that cook for about three minutes. This is almost perfect. All right, so now I'm just going to pour over. If you don't get this to cover everything, that's okay because we're gonna throw it in the oven for eight to 10 minutes and that will really also get it evenly distributed as well. Alrighty. Now you just want to sprinkle this with chocolate chips and you want to give them a second to heat up. So this looks beautiful. And now we're just going to go on with the chopped pecans and add them. With a back of a spatula, I'm just going to go over these in sections and make sure all the pecans are pressed into the chocolate. So now all that's left is throwing this in the freezer and letting it sit. And then after that, you just break it up. All right, so the candy is done. And I'm just getting one of my favorite containers, which are these XO containers. You just press the top and they open up. So all we have to do with this now is actually the easiest part. We're going to lift the foil up. And I'm just gonna break this off into pieces. And you really can break them in as whatever size you want to do. Now 
And as we fill those with Christmas cookies this week, um, I'll just keep stacking them in there and then people can dig for what they want. Getting the house ready for Stephen to come home. So I'm just lighting all the candles. I have all the trees on. I have my Times candle. I just was editing today's Vlogmas so I can just add the new bits that I film. And just, oh, I have my playlist playing. So I had a little bit of time before Steven came home. So I didn't start dinner yet because he's running a little bit late. So I went ahead and wrapped some of his gifts. So this really cute house paper is from Hearth and Hand, I think, Hearth and Heart, the Magnolia line at Target. And I always try to coordinate wrapping paper to the tree each year. So you'll see that those all match this tree. And then my best friend's gifts over here, which I've already shown you today, match this tree. I'm just going to get dinner ready and then <laughs> you know the routine. Steven and I are going to work on our puzzle. I'm gonna enjoy a glass of wine. Um, yeah, that's probably it. So I will end this vlog here and I will end it like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye. No, I can't wait for the weekend. Waking up next to you. Sharing our secrets, making dreams come true. Let's have a toast for the lovers.